welcome, it's me, Persita, and this is Persita's Paradox. So every morning we have these beautiful thoughts and ideas of things that we may wanna execute or maybe you've seen it or just a great innovative idea or something that transcends in your head that is brand new, fresh, and a great idea for you to start and do, right? What I'm trying to get at is that we all have what I like to call a creative, meaning we are innovative, absolutely tenacious, driven people who have these really good ideas. I don't think there's anyone on the planet that is not a creative. Creatives are who we are made up to be. It's what our character is. It's just our core sustenance, right? The difference between being a creative and a creator is that you actually just simply get out of your own way. You take the information that is given to you and you become a doer, not just a hearer. I mean, let's be honest, words are created to make us inspired. They are there to build more than just our ears ringing and ideas that permeate in our hair, head. They are there to actually move us through to do something different into the world, to make an impact, to be something more than what we think we can be. Now, the difference between being a creative and a creator is just simply that. One actually moves and starts the creation of, and the other is usually just thinking about it. Today, can I submit to you that I think that we all should strive to be creators? Now, let's be honest, not everyone is made to be that way. What am I meaning? Not everyone is equipped to be a leader and there's nothing wrong with that. Our society tells us that everyone has to be a business owner and everyone should strive for that and that's the best way to go. Not so much. We all are individually made and let's be honest, if all of us were business owners, who would actually work for the business owners? There is nothing bad about or nothing belittling about working for someone, being a part of a team, being a part of something that is working towards something progressive or just simply meeting your need. Nothing wrong with it. Our society tends to put us down at every reach that the people who are, let's just say Indians in the tribe and not the chief are less than. And that's absolutely a myth. Being a creative is crucial. There is absolutely no way that a creator can be a great creator without creatives around him. And today, I just want you to know that it is okay either way you are. Being a creator is definitely not a task for the weary. Now you might say, well, what does that mean, Priscilla? Being in a self-employed, self-propelled scenario is difficult. Most self-employed people have a hard time talking to their family or friends that have what's called a nine to five for no other reason than if they don't work, they do not get paid. And you might say, well, that's the same for everyone, right? Well, not necessarily true. Most jobs are equipped with time off. They're equipped with paid sick leave. They're equipped with people to fill in for you if you are not there. And typically self-employed people don't have that. Now that doesn't make one better than the other. It's just an apple to an orange. It's just different scenarios. What I am hoping today that we can talk about is that there is no thing better than the other. Being a business owner does not make you better than if you actually have a nine to five and work for someone. We have to get that idea out of our head because what we don't do is respect each person's role. In order to succeed within your relationships, you have to respect a person's role in your life and where they are in their lives. Creators have a tendency to not really want to communicate a lot with creatives, not understanding that the average creator needs a creative to sustain. Prime example, to be a YouTuber or a creator on YouTube, you need creatives to want to listen to your content. I see so many people on this platform who forget that. And the irony of the story is, is that if there were not creatives, then they would not be considered a creator. Get that? If you don't have followers, you don't have people who are your fans, there's no way to be a celebrity. You can't do it alone. So today I want you to understand that being a creator is crucial, but respecting the creative is just as crucial. 
just as important. We want to understand that we all want to be doers and not just hearers. We want to actually progress and understand that everything we hear is to move us. Everything that we stand for should have propelling issues to make you want to move forward. Now, there is a time and a place where we want to find ourselves to say, you know what, Priscilla, you know what, I'm, I'm ready to move from creative to creator or creator to creative. And that's absolutely fine and clear and wonderful for all involved. You simply want to know what season you're in. You want to know what you're surrounding yourself with. And you want to know when there's the time to shift. Some might say, well, how do you know when there's a time to shift? You have to actually make the time out in your head to watch what's happening in your life. If you're only willing to be a lead and never a follower, understand that your growth absolutely becomes stagnant. There's no way for you to know everything as a creator, so you must understand that the creatives around you are crucial, absolutely crucial. Know your position, know who you are and what you are and what you are about. Respect all, move in the mindset of everything happens for a reason. And when it's time for you to move from creative to creator or vice versa, that, that shift is everything. Words are everything. Movement is everything. You must understand that you will always have a shift. You will always need to move from one to the other. And that that doesn't make you better or in any position inferior to anyone. We all must understand that we are constantly learning and to be a great person and individual in the world, you must always be open to learn. No one knows it all, right? No one does. So today, can I submit to the creatives? You are important. And even if you feel like I'm just an idea and I never execute, don't belittle that because a lot of those creatives that are listening to me today make up the greatness of the creator that you're around. Understand your position is key to success. And creators don't be in such a big mindset of I am better that you disrespect or devalue the creatives around you. Maybe they can't actually get up and make things work, but the fact that they are giving you powerful words for you to be in a position of moving and hearing and doing what you're hearing, they're telling you you're great and you're walking in that greatness, very important. Very, very important. So, who are you? Are you a creative or are you a creator? What season are you in? It's always going to be one, never both, always one. So today I submit to you to affirm wherever you are, it's important. And whatever you're doing, it's important. As long as you're keeping your ear to the grind and your understanding, seasons will change, you will change, and you will shift from creative to cre creator. And it is crucial for you to know that that is okay. It may be your season to learn. Embrace that. Don't look at it so much as I'm not growing, I'm not moving. You're learning. There's a sowing and a reaping and you're in one of them, never both at the same time. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate your time. Thank you so much for all of the support that I'm getting. So appreciate your comments. They've been amazing. Please keep them coming. Remember to subscribe, remember to like, remember to share. And if any of my videos have helped you, please feel free to let me know of that. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. And remember to do three things. I almost forgot to say it. To live life authentic. Have a blessed day.